Understanding Be on One's Own, a guide to English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our latest English language learning video. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, be on one's own. Understanding idioms like this can really help in mastering the nuances of the English language. Let's dive in. The phrase, be on one's own, typically means to be alone, independent, or without help. It's used in various contexts, from literally being alone to taking responsibility for something without assistance. But remember, it's not always about physical solitude. It's often about emotional or practical independence. Let's look at some examples to understand this phrase better. 1. Physical independence. After moving out of her parents' house, she was on her own for the first time. 2. Emotional independence. He learned to be on his own after the breakup, finding strength in solitude. 3. Professional context. In this project, you'll be on your own, without a team to assist you. It's easy to confuse, be on one's own, with feeling lonely. But remember, this phrase often conveys a sense of strength and self-reliance, not just isolation. Also, don't mix it up with, on one's behalf, which means something entirely different. Stand on one's own two feet, similar to, be on one's own, implying independence and self-sufficiency. Go it alone, to undertake a task by oneself without assistance. Fly solo. Another way of saying to do something alone, often used in professional or creative contexts. We hope this video clarifies the meaning and usage of, be on one's own. Remember, idioms like this add color and depth to your English communication. Stay tuned for more videos, and keep practicing.